All right, everybody. Today's video will be in Central West Texas. Got a bunch of towns here that have lost about half their population. I'll show you where I am on the map. Uh, you can see I'm just north of I-20. Uh, Lubbock and Abilene are there, Fort Worth to the east. Um, this town is called Roby. <laughs> Uh, I got a chuckle out of, uh, what is this, a boat? Already seeing interesting sights. We got a boat right here. And then, uh, I don't know, is this a gas station? But here, I'll pull in here. <laughs> this is an old abandoned gas station, it looks like. And it's got a piano. See that? Got a piano there if you want. Anyway, uh, Roby, in its heyday, had 1,050 people, and that was in 1950. Today, there are 581. The average home value here in Roby is 39,700. So I don't have to tell you that that is astonishingly low. That's about a tenth of the rest of the United States. I'm curious if the houses here are going to look like that. I'll go out into a neighborhood or two and look. Um, but I'll give you some of the other numbers here as we drive by this house. Got this dog just uh, hanging out, enjoying the day. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> he's he's uh, giving me the eye there saying, take one step towards this house, see what happens. And you can tell he's a good guard dog. Anyway, uh, poverty level is 7.9. That's pretty low. That's lower than the U.S. average. Uh, the average age here is 32.4. And the average household income is 54,500. Now, the U.S. average is 78,000. So, uh... If you want to compare that too in your head, go ahead. But anyway, what really caught my eye is the average home value here. 39,700. That is that is really low. Uh, so I'm going to uh, drive into a neighborhood or two before we head to the next town. And uh, see what the houses look like. Now it's the, I'll tell you what, when it is. This is uh, Monday first week in December it's about 2 30 in the afternoon beautiful day here in Texas 73 degrees I have missed the warm Texas weather we were in Topeka as you know those of you who watch regularly about two weeks ago and it was in the 20s um, but it's beautiful in Texas today in early December Anyway, uh, I'm trying to find a residential area and I'm just finding all kinds of stuff. So uh, I'm gonna head to one, see what we can find. Now, I don't know what's going on here. That is a big mess there, isn't it? Uh, is this a house? Yes, that is a house over there. Let me see if I can turn over here and get a closer look. Yeah, you can't really see that house back there, but it is in, uh, well, you can't even see it. Really bad shape. All right, so I'm gonna try to find a neighborhood and let's take a look at some of these houses. Well, guys, I've crisscrossed through several of the streets and uh, to be perfectly honest with you, houses look okay. They're not in immaculate shape. And of course, you'll see something like this right here. But a lot of the homes here look pretty nice. Apparently, it's just such a low cost of living here that that's all they're worth. Is this a house though? Stucco. It's interesting. I mean, I've seen a lot worse, let's put it that way. Most of these houses kind of look like right here. 
You know, we got an old 70s ranch style house here. But it's nice. Um, here, I'll turn this way. See some more. Yeah, it's a nice house, isn't it? Interesting. It's just apparently really low cost of living here. Can you imagine buying a house for $40,000? I mean, that's what a car costs. But uh, that's what they're worth here. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm back to where that dog is. <laughs> There's only like three or four streets in the entire town. I'm going to get headed towards the next town. It's bigger. It's called Anson. So uh, that's coming up next. All right, everyone. I am approaching the downtown of Anson, Texas. Now, 1960, there were almost 3,000 people here. Today, there are a little over 2,200. As I drive into this downtown, you can't help but see this magnificent building here. It's going to be a court, uh, county courthouse building. That is something. Wow, that is a beautiful building. The average household income is $55,300. I'm in the downtown now, so I'm just going to kind of cruise slowly through here. It's kind of nice, but boy, you cannot miss that building. That is beautiful. Beautiful county courthouse. And it is the showcase of the town, obviously, right here in the middle. The average age is 37.8. Now, that is not unusual in itself, but something about that really sticks out. The average age of males here are 30.5. The average age of females here are 41.3 so on average the women are 11 years older than the men here that number really stuck out for me I'm just going to kind of cruise around here a bit a couple of other little things about this town well one in specific this town claims to be the inspiration for the movie um, Footloose. Now, I'm not talking about that recent one. I'm talking about the really good one with Kevin Bacon and John Lithgow from years ago. Dancing was illegal in this town until 1987. <laughs> 1987. Wow. Maybe that's uh, why there's so many younger males. <laughs> they couldn't dance with the women, so they booked. Now, I'm thinking it has that has something to do with maybe the fact that women live longer than men. Maybe there's just a lot of widows here. But it's really unusual for there to be that many or that big a percentage of women uh, older than the men. Anyway, uh, oh, poverty level is 11.1, .1, so that's very low. So, uh, while it's lost some population, it's not near as bad as some of the other towns I'm about to show you. And uh, low poverty level. So, the town, it's pretty healthy, I'm thinking. Anyway, I am uh, going to go check out a neighborhood or two. See uh, what they look like. Well, I'm kind of roaming around some of the neighborhoods, taking a look. That looks about like the last town. You see a little bit of this here and there. Garage in really bad shape. But uh, you see a lot of this too, where it is in great shape. Now there's downtown right up there, about a block or two up. Neighborhoods are, they're, they're pretty. Now I told you the average home value here is 61,000. Yeah, 60,900. Pretty nice houses for that average, isn't it? 
I mean, you think about a house being that low in value and it's gotta be a shack anywhere else in the country, but out here in rural Texas, it's not bad. This one needs a little work, but it's a, it's a pretty lady, pretty older lady, that house. Yeah, I like the neighborhoods here. Lived in. <laughs> All right, well, I just wanted to take a quick look. I'm going to head to the next town now. Uh, I'm trying to, trying to get a few towns covered here to show you before uh, the sun sets. So I'm having to move pretty quickly. Anyway, the next town is called Stamford. So we're going to head there right now. All right, everyone, I'm heading into Stamford, Texas. Stamford was named after Stamford, Connecticut. This town was uh, settled by Swedish, Swedish uh, immigrants. Now, in 1950, there were right at 6,000 people here in Stamford. Today, there's just over 2,800. So this town has lost over half its population. Um, poverty level is 17.1. So that's a little bit higher than what we've been seeing. The average household income is 51,700. The average home value in 2020, according to the census, is 62,800. Uh, the average age is 40.4. So that's what's going on in the town. I see downtown in front of me. But that's a one way. Looks like, uh, oh, we got a square here. Okay. So let's drive around the square. Take a look at the town, shall we? See what we see here. Now, there used to be 6,000 people here. Oh, there's a big Dollar General right downtown. Anyway, it used to be 6,000 people here, so there's probably quite a, mint, uh, quite a bit of infrastructure, buildings. Um, but with half the people gone, uh, I'm guessing a lot of them aren't in use. However, I'm seeing a beautiful old theater, the Grand, and it says Black Panther on it. So it looks like it's showing movies there. That's always good to see. Uh, I can see a big, beautiful church right there. I'm sure you can see it too. Anyway, I'm going to uh, circle around here. Yeah, there's a courthouse in the middle, a little courthouse, county courthouse. And then, uh, anyway, I wanted to check out City Hall. This building is beautiful. Look at that. Now, that is something there. Uh, I guess I will just drive into a neighborhood here. See what it looks like. You can really see... Uh, the loss of the tax base driving through this town. Now the roads are horrendous. Um, yeah, let's keep going this way. And then uh, quite often you see places like this. There's a house back there. And there's another one back here too, but um, they are being reclaimed by nature. Trying to get as good a shot as I can. The sun's not really where I want it to be to get good shots. See this interesting area here. You can tell this was like a really nice part. See how the roads uh, have the big space in the middle, the divider. Um, but. Uh, it has been in decay, you can tell for a while. I mean, look at this road. Whew, it's rough. Interesting. An empty house there. Wow, 
look at this road. I don't know if you can see that. The road there. It is in really bad shape. Wow. This is almost not drivable. All right, well, uh, that sun is getting really low, so if I'm going to be able to show you everything I want to show you, I got to keep moving. So on to the next town. Well, guys, I am pulling into Hamlin, Hamlin, Texas. Uh, let's see. In 1960, there were 3,800 people here. Today, there are under 1,800, 1,773 people. So this town, like the last one, has lost over half its population. Let's see, the poverty rate is 10.3. That is low. Seen that quite a bit in these towns. Average household income is 73,500. That's a little higher than what we've been seeing. The uh, average home value is 60,400. And the average age is 35.4. Let's see, the average home value, did I say that already? It's $60,000, in case I didn't. Uh, the thing you see when you drive into town is right there. Those huge grain elevators. You can see them from quite a few miles out. Yeah, uh, you can definitely see the uh, loss of population though. I'm going to drive over here by those elevators, get a closer look at them. Dirt roads. <laughs> wow, I wonder what happened there. I don't know if you can see that. Just uh, disintegrating. Whatever that is over there. Let's see, I'm going to go this way a little farther. You can see the sun's getting low, so I'm not going to be able to hang out here too much. I got one more town to show you. <laughs> That's kind of the bad thing about this time of year, is the days end quick. It's a little after 5 o'clock. Like an old grain company. Huh. Man, those are imposing buildings, though. Let me get over a little closer. Yeah, you drive up into town and uh, you're certainly not going to miss these things. Wow. Huge buildings. Uh, it doesn't look like it's in operation anymore though. Sad to say. Uh, it is a Monday, yeah, yeah, Monday. Like I said earlier, early December. Yeah, these look like uh, there's nothing happening here anymore. Interesting. Yeah, you hate to see it. Cool. Um, okay. Well, I got one more town to show you, so uh, I'm going to head there right now. All right, everybody, I have arrived in the town of Rotan, Texas. The sun is just about to set. 
I just kind of turned off the road here from downtown. I'm going to go head back in. Um, this town has lost over half its population since its peak. You can definitely see it. Um, in 1950, there were 3,200 people here. Uh, today, there are a little less than 1,300. Yeah, so over half its population is gone. This town, unlike the others, has a high poverty rate. It's 22.1%. Um, average household income is 48,600. And uh, the average home value is 46,300. That's really low. Uh, average age is 44.8. Look at this beautiful old theater though. I love that. Uh, as is what is normal though, it is closed, sadly. An old country store here. Yeah, the town. Uh, in all honesty, it's it's definitely seen better days. Got a couple businesses here though that are operating, and uh, they have lights on. So there's something to be said about that. I have a family dollar. I, I have to say that's like the uh, oldest family dollar I think I've ever seen. Well, I guess I'll take a look a little bit before the sun is completely gone. Uh, it's almost there. DQ, now that is very rural Texan. <laughs> Now there's a different supermarket. There are no um, Walmarts in the vicinity of this place, so that's why you need a place like that Thriftway. Anyway, uh, yeah, this has the second lowest home values of all the towns I've visited. And of course, with the massive loss of population, you see a lot of this, these empty homes. That house is really old too. That might be a hundred years old. Look at the design of it, the architecture. Check out this one. That's beautiful. Huh. Yeah, look, you can see the sun is just... Up, well, it has set. It's just about gone. Got a nice house there, though. But across the street, you have this, which is empty. That was a nice place in its day. This right here. I mean, look at this. Really nice place. Look, they got the two car garage right there. Separate. Wow, you hate to see that. Huh. Oh, a lot of bugs on my windshield out here in rural Texas. Well, you look at that uh, big West Texas sky. All right, anyway, guys, uh, that's gonna be it for this video. Um, the wife and I are on our way back to Dallas. We're just staying one night here in this area. Uh, I saw that there are some towns I wanted to take a look at, so that's what this video is. Uh, after we're in Dallas a few days, we will get back out on the road. Only for eight days, though, because we got to come back for Christmas. So uh, we will um, be heading probably to southern Missouri, Joplin, Missouri. A couple, couple other towns there. We can't go too far because we only have eight days. So uh, anyway... That's what will be coming up next. Be looking for those.